so good today for a change. What do you call this? Ititiake. She's like, <laughs> Nai hit. Good morning, guys. <sighs> today is carpet cleaning day. As well as the couch, we gave them both cleaned. I'm so excited because they are so dirty. Oh my god, especially this couch like disgusting. So, I'm just waiting for the guys to arrive and then we can get started. Patches are clean, the carpet is clean, they were so fast, like so clean. So now we're gonna let it dry for a bit. Hey guys, oh, I look so good today for a change. So <laughs> I done my makeup, but my eye is really, really runny. Um, so we are headed to Mandlin. We need to get the baby stuff, bed, everything that's outstanding. We are going to get it. Definitely vlogging today. I took a nap so that I wouldn't be tired. <laughs> that sounds so old. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing this dress from MRP. And then I have this cute little bag that I got from Zoom a long time ago. This is my metric ball bag, by the way. That's how old it is. And I've gone for my go-to glam. If I want to look spicy, you know, I always wear red lipstick. And have a tissue because my eyes are runny. So, yeah. The bump is out. Try to show you properly out and about very big but yeah let's go can you adjust it like is it just stuck on one no. level how much is this one? Hmm? Three. Hey, what are you buying? What are you buying? Well, I'm, I'm buying a compatible, breathable, compatible mattress for the child. Okay, so we get. Nano tech mattress. Nano tech. And then we have sheets. Then we're looking for the pillow and stuff and stuff and stuff. We just came back from the mall. We were there for not even over one and a half hours. I feel like we just spent an hour, quick in and out. I got McDonald's afterwards because I was so hungry. So I thought I would show you what we got before my 
lash falls off because my eye has been crying so much it's on the verge of just falling apart but yeah I hope you like this makeup look I really like it um, we didn't really get a lot of exciting things honestly it's just things that are necessary for the baby but I mean <laughs> they're really expensive <laughs> they're really expensive having a baby is expensive oh my god like it's expensive and we didn't even get everything that we wanted because the main objective was to put together the baby room so we needed a cot and that chest of drawers thing where all her stuff is gonna be and the changing thing on top I forgot what it's called but they didn't have it they just had one and that thing was really small that cupboard where all the baby's clothes are the lady told me the proper name for it I forgot so yeah <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got um, I needed to complete my hospital bag so the things that I'm also gonna need in the hospital during birth post birth type of thing um, so we got everything at baby's R us we were really quick because of COVID there was no lingering there was no going to different stores just went there got it done and then yeah so first thing is we got maternity pads because that's so much fun I got <laughs> I got two packs of maternity pads. I don't know how many I'm gonna need, but I got two packs. And then, um, and then I also got these linen savers. I don't know what this is, but it's written on the hospital list that you should have it. So I got it. I really don't know what it is. Um, and they said 10 so there's 10 in here so in the hospital list they tell you what you need and how many of those things you need you know and then I also got maternity hospital panties uh, this is a two value pack so I guess there's four because I got two packs I don't know if they give you this at the hospital but I decided I'm gonna get it even if they give me at the hospital should I want to use it afterwards when I come back from the hospital you know what I'm saying um, so got this and then <coughs> I also got breast pads this is this is this six in here so these are all from the same company uh, I figured that I'll just get, I'll get everything from the same brand because I'm sure that they're really good for them to be in a baby shop you know what I'm saying but also I just I didn't know I don't know what to compare it with as I've never so I was just like it's fine I'll get this and then I also got um, a belly binder it's just a uh, belt that you use to tie your stomach it's in a size small medium I did try it on it fits it's pretty big um, this was quite pricey it comes in black also um, so yeah but I also want to get the compression tights so if I don't want to use the belt then I can get the tights that are high-waisted so that the compression because this is all for compression goes from the tights I mean from the hips to the bum to the stomach area you know so but I want to get those from Woolworths because I've seen those from Woolies I also didn't get maternity bras because I want to get the ones from Woolies the ones that were there I just I didn't like them you know I just didn't like them so that's that <clears throat> and then here we have a changing mat super random again I didn't know what to compare this with so as I was walking around I just picked this up um, it's from totes babe <laughs> I really don't know I also haven't bought uh, a diaper bag like a proper diaper bag because most most of the time when you buy a diaper bag the changing mat comes with it 
but i haven't seen a diaper bag that i like and i want to get one that's nice considering that i'll be carrying it everywhere so i'm gonna keep this i'm not gonna throw away the receipt obviously in case i'm gonna return it should i get a diaper bag and the diaper bag comes with the changing mat you know what i'm saying but i was just thinking rather safe to have it than not to have it <clears throat> and then for the baby we got the cot which i'll show you when we're assembling it and the mattress and then uh, the mattress that we got it's a breathable one because one of my concerns is that she mustn't suffocate because babies can suffocate from a mattress so the one that we got is breathable it has like all the all the things that i was looking out for and then we got two fitted sheets two fitted sheets for the bed um of course i wanted white everything must be neutral um the fabric feels quite soft so yeah and when you bind the sheets and the mattress just make sure you bind the same size so i was double checking and triple checking everything this is from snuggle time my pregnancy pillow is also from snuggle time so i'm pretty cool with them and then also this is a pillow a baby needs a pillow it comes with the pillowcase so it's also from snuggle time again i have nothing to compare this with so i just randomly grabbed what looked good to me um, but i did read everything you know just to check what is the fabric and all of that because i was asking the lady what is the fabric made out of you don't want a thick fabric that's going to be too hot or something that's flimsy so to keep in mind and then i got a manual breast pump from pigeon um my <clears throat> so the baby's um what do you call this it okay you know <laughs> um it's from avent but i couldn't find a breast pump from avent because i'm trying to keep on brand uh so i got one from pigeon it's a manual breast pump i feel sorry for myself because i have to keep on doing this i would honestly love uh an electric breast pump but those are really expensive like super expensive like 2000 something So if you guys want to gift me with something you can gift me <laughs> you can gift me that because <laughs> i think doing this can be quite painful for your head if you keep on squeezing and squeezing so anyway i got this one i think this was 300 or 400 super affordable so i just got one and then i got um the brush to clean the the bottles yes i got the brush to clean the bottles I didn't get a special detergent because I feel like you can use sunlight or whatever dish soap you use to clean the bottles. <clears throat> and then I got another pack of these bottles because the ones that I bought the last time are for six months plus and I was just like, I'm not going to change those, you know, I'll just buy ones that are more age appropriate for her so these are zero months plus so from when she's born going up and of course she could have used those ones but those ones are quite big also so i figured it won't be a loss to add these small ones so let me just try to open it and you know i was um so i'm busy texting my mom on whatsapp I'm telling her that we got the baby bed and stuff. And you know what's the first question she asked me? She's like, You know you heat? <laughs> She's like, Do you have a heater? And I did tell you in my other video that she always says, Okay, so this is the smaller bottle. It's so small. Oh my god. So this is the smaller bottle the one that i have 
is twice as big as this so now she'll have four bottles i feel like that is way more than enough <clears throat> so she's asking do you have a heater i'm just like no <laughs> like it's so hot <laughs> but we do have like an existing heater here but i don't think it's warm enough for her you know what i'm saying we need a more robust heater but i mean for now no we do not have a heater okay anyway i also got the bennett's aquas cream my mom said that i shouldn't buy anything that's fragranced or anything fancy i should get the baby aquas cream she will bath with it and she will use it as a lotion um because it doesn't have any bad ingredients it's going to keep her skin looking really really good so i just got this i got one <laughs> i got one of this to see if she likes it or not so yeah and then we got a grooming kit i think it's very important that a baby has separate grooming stuff to you you know so like a comb a brush a nail filer a nail clipper super super important and then i also got this thing so i like this because the nozzle in front she can use it to suck the medicine you know instead of trying to use a spoon and then it just becomes a mess um it also has something to remove the snot from the nose it's quite you know all of that super super important and then also got some baby powder it smells so good um but yeah literally nothing exciting um but the first thing that we need to do is I need to clear this room i've been saying that i need to clear this room but now i really really need to clear it and then we can set up the bed and then i can have a look at it and then try to figure out the aesthetics of it thereafter but for now the essential stuff needs to be put in place This morning is firstly welcome to the vlog um today is monday it's the 18th of january i'm extremely exhausted and i think you can tell uh i've been walking i've been up and down i've already scored 3018 steps so that's pretty good um this morning we woke up to load shedding and so i was sitting in bed i was thinking and i decided to get up because i was like no i don't need to sleep anymore um so i wanted to go to the shops to get a few things first important thing that actually made me wake up is this planner i wanted to get uh, a month to month planner so that i can write down all the stuff that i need to do <laughs> um plan my content write down my deadlines important dates and all of that so i managed to get oops so i managed to get this planner from spa um mainly because i got an idea this morning and i thought if i'm really gonna go through with this i'm gonna need to be organized for which i'm gonna tell you about that in a bit anyway got the planner and I also got markers to write on the planner so that's not interesting the interesting thing that I got actually is a blender so 
I got this one from Platinum. I bought this at Checkers. Uh, so the shops that we have in the shopping center around here have spa, they have Checkers and Woolworths. And Woolworths doesn't sell appliances. I went to spa, they didn't have any type of blender and then I went to Checkers. So I've been saying for months that I wanted a blender, like for months and months I've been saying that I want a blender. And I just got tired of saying it and then I decided to go get one this morning. I got this small portable one mainly because when I go home, as you guys know, after I give birth I'm going to go home for a while. Uh, I want to take it with me so I didn't want to get like a huge blender although the one that I wanted is from Smeg. I was like I can't be traveling with Smeg up and down also because I'm going to leave this blender at home and then when I come back then I'll buy the one that I want which is the one from Smeg. anyway so I decided to get this one from checkers it looks pretty good it's silver it's portable so i'll be able to travel with this and i'm gonna leave this at home um so i'm pretty excited about that i also got two mason jars so that i can drink this minis out of this one for me one for bay because i figured you know on that health tip also I wanted to get a blender because I feel like after I give birth it's gonna help me shed the weight fast you know I'll be on smoothies all day every day I'm joking not all day every day but I mean I feel like it's gonna help me and also I want to incorporate more green vegetables into my diet because I realize that I eat way more starchy vegetables than I need to so yeah so I also got some plain yogurt as well as some spinach. So I got all of this from Checkers. We did do a food shop yesterday. That's why I didn't buy like a whole lot of stuff because we have all the fruits and stuff in the fridge already. But I thought I would unbox this blender with you i'm so excited this is so silly but i'm so excited and also i figured if you guys also want to lose weight or whatever then or if you want a blender that that's affordable then you can view this and then decide if it's worth it so <laughs> anyway um this blender retailed for 450 super affordable right so this is how it comes out um it comes with a mixing beaker a whisk i'm not sure what what would i be whisking maybe i could do like a milk frothing situation with it i don't know and then the blending thing and then as well as a chopping bowl so let me take it out okay so this is the actual thing that you blend with Oh, and you attach it here yeah now it's secure this is so portable and you just plug it in here and then I like that and I was actually gonna vlog my whole trip to the shops but guys the way I'm so wobbly and the way I walk and the way I just get so tired, I was just like, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was so exhausted by the time I was done. Like, thoroughly exhausted. And then it has this thing. What do you call this? The mixing beaker. It has measurements. So that's pretty good if you want to measure your ingredients it has this thing I don't know what this is okay this is the um, this is the chopping thing what is it called chopping bowl but I'm not sure how you work it 
So I'm gonna show you the ingredients for my smoothies. I have some fruit here. I have mango, apple, strawberries, blackberries. I have some ice, some yogurt. And then I'm gonna put some spinach. So I'm just gonna start with this. This is how it looks. It looks really brown. I only changed color because of the spinach. Um, so yeah, I'm done. This part has become quite hot, so it overheats quite quickly. Okay, so here is my very first smoothie. We're gonna do the taste test. I can taste the spinach and the apples. It doesn't taste amazing, but it doesn't taste bad either. It's just like, whatever. I think once I find recipes that I like, then it will get better. What I have to say about the machine though is that I'm finding it difficult to use. Firstly, in the instruct I read the instruction manual and it says that don't put ice directly because it will make the blade blunt. So that is my first concern. So what I did was I removed the ice and then I crushed it first outside of the blender before putting it in which is just extra labor that I don't need and this and this this thing doesn't have a cover so when you start blending things get everywhere very quickly like it's messy and then this part it's hot right now and they did also say in the manual that wait for it to cool down before you use it again so I'm just like hmm so that's my first impression so I'm gonna drink this clean up because it makes quite a mess and then we'll talk later cheers